So this was the second house that I actually bought. And you see that top window at the back there? That was my first ever office. And I'm talking like the only thing that went in there was a desk. Nothing else was in there. Yeah, I just remember doing all my videos from there, doing my business from there. And that's where kind of real life started, in fact, you know, from inside that room up there. I later, we needed to change it back to a bedroom. So then I later came downstairs. So that middle, that kitchen is at the back and then the middle one there is that became the office and actually we had our first employees in this business working from here from this house <laughs> yeah because before that and, and I moved here by the way for this house because uh, my software business was just around the corner and I used to travel every day from Mount Sorrel into Loughborough so I thought you know I'm gonna buy a house here the story behind this house is that house there which is exactly the same or was purchased for 240,000 and the 240,000 that's what they wanted for this house but like people People who lived here they bought a new build so the new build kind of partner had bought this and they just wanted to sell it it was corporate people and i remember just saying hey, yeah listen you know what price could we get it for and i wanted it for 200 and it was like no way no chance we've had loads of interest and all of this so then one day i called in and i say someone else answered the phone i said yeah you know because you had loads of viewers she was like no we've not so i remember then when i called back i wanted to speak to this helen i said oh it's helen she's like no 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 she's not like you speak to me about it i was like oh i spoke to helen before she said yeah she's just a trainee so then i clicked on this trainee has let off that nobody's coming to view this house so I said look I ain't interested in this house I'm not bothered about it so they said I'll oh, put an offer forward so I literally said 205 you know our parents are lending us some money so we could go to 205 they said no no still can't do it and I said well look I am selling a previous house and I'm only going to get 2,000 pounds from that house which I wasn't I was actually losing money I said I'm going to get 2,000 pounds so I could go to 207 so then they ended up saying yes and we got we was able to buy it for 207,000 pounds which I thought was a great deal and yeah we, we, we moved in here and actually you can see my freaking pull-up bars here so I bought you know pull-up bars I installed the in the ground and I you know screwed it all together as you can see just over there yeah, so anyway, now I want to take you to the next part. Yeah, so it was at this house when I started to come up with what is now called the Dream Building and Manifestation Program. But before then, it was more like experiential goal setting because, you know, writing down, I want to watch, I want a house, you know, just wasn't doing anything. So then eventually I realized I've got to make it more experience based. Uh, and, I, and I started, you know, investing in property while we were here this is where i started the journey late 2016 start of 2017 and then I, I used to see grant cardone like doing thousands of units and i thought wow that's like a big ass so i was like you know my 20 year goal is to have 100 units in property yeah and every day um i used to walk out this back gate and walk out here and walk around there yeah so i basically come out of this back gate here yeah, and I would walk out here and I would go to the park every single day. Like every day I would go there. And, you know, as I started writing the goals down and I started following, like I said, what is now the dream building manifestation, I realized, oh my goodness, in, in this thing here is basically 18 freaking units staring me right in the face. So then I started to see how realistic it actually is for me to be able to put, like imagine 18 units, six of these deals I'm over 100 units already so then I started to manifest wow this is real this can be done so then I changed my goal thousand units ten thousand units and so on and then it became it weren't really bothered about the units it was about the lifestyle that I could live and that's what then took us out of this house you know into the private estate that you know we moved into which was just like the expansion of the property portfolio was just huge you know we did millions in sales in terms of like money we weren't just doing our own projects we were we were sourcing deals to other people you know that we just basically couldn't handle at the time uh, we started project management their their deals as well and plus then we were doing loads selling loads refinancing loads so we had all this cash and all this money coming in and then that was the point where people were like, hey, listen, can I learn from you? Can we do it? I was like, no, no, no we don't do that. You know, but then loads of people were asking. So when one day I said, yeah, okay, no worries. So I did some coaching and then more people asked. And then I said, yeah, okay, no, we don't want to do that. So let's just double the prices, you know, and probably people say no, but the people still said, yeah. And then I doubled the prices again. People still said, yeah, double the prices again. People still said, yes. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is not working. So we'll do some kind of group thing. 
Yeah, so then we said, let's do a group thing. And this was supposed to be just temporary, yeah? you know, but people wanted the help and I could, then, then I got insight to the, to the industry. And a lot of people were struggling, a lot of people were paying thousands, tens of thousands, even 30,000 pounds for training and like courses or whatever, and getting zero, basically zero freaking results. So let's just put a group thing on. So we started doing some group training, more people wanted it. So I said, let's just do a one day event, yeah? Um, and, and I was more into like, like my business, the property portfolio, and I wanted to help entrepreneurs. It wasn't about property investing. But then uh, we put on an event, and without even a venue or a website, we sold 30 tickets for 100 quid each. And I was like, okay, wow, now we actually need to do something. We sold 60 tickets. And then I was like, wow, the venue that we got don't even hold that many people. So we had to get a different venue. And in the end, we sold 167 tickets to this one day program that we never delivered before that all these people showed up to. And then I was like, oh wow, what are they gonna do after? You know, so that's when I realized, wow, it's the, the, all the people that I'd helped get results in like 2018, the initial tribe, yeah, Shane Duff, Claudine, uh, Mr. Lewis Perrin, you know, all of these people that came in, there was about 10 or 15 people. It was then we realized, wow, it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching. So that's when I started like training other people to be coaches, not like just, oh, be a certified coach, but only coach for real life. So then after that, people who wanted coaching, you know, they registered for the coaching, and then within the first two years, it literally just exploded and we changed the industry. I mean, all the training providers were like making up about it's like oh this person lost money and they followed your strategy I was like tell them who they are I'll pay, I'll, I'll pay them the money personally because I know nobody had done that but in the first two years there was I think it was 221 do we have that number I think it was 221 millionaires you know 221 people had made it to millionaire status just in that first two years yeah and then it absolutely exploded